is in Surah Al-Furqan, that's Surah number 25. وَجَعَلَ فِيهَا سِرَاجًا وَقَمَرًا مُنِيرًا Allah speaks of things in the heavens and the earth that are at His disposal. تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ فِي السَّمَاءِ بُرُوجًا Blessed is the one who placed in the sky stars. And then He says, وَجَعَلَ فِيهَا سِرَاجًا And in the sky He placed a lamp. He calls the sun a lamp in this case, Siraj. وَقَمَرًا مُنِيرًا The word Qamar means moon. But the word Munir is the one that's really scientific, if you want to take it that way. The word Munir means something given light. Something illuminated. So there's the source of light and the recipient of the light. When he spoke of the sun, he called it a lamp. When he spoke of the moon, he called it a, a moon that reflects light. So at a time when this is not a known phenomenon, Allah is speaking of the moon as a body in space that doesn't give off its own light. As I mean, nowadays, obviously it's reflecting the sun's light. But I mean, picture yourself 1500 years ago saying that. It's not very obvious. Looks like it's giving off its own light. So this ayah says, وَأَنزَلَ الْحَدِيدِ Surah Al-Hadid is surah number 57 of the Qur'an. And Allah uses the word, we sent down iron. We sent down iron. Now, the thing of it is, Allah speaks about creating lots of different things in the Qur'an. But for all of them, He uses a verb called khalaqa, or to create. He created the heavens and the earth. He created life and death. He created, He created, He created. But when He speaks of iron, He didn't say He created it, He said, He sent it down. He sent it down. And scholars of the past were grappling with this issue. Why? Because you know the words of God are very precise. This is our belief. So when someone would argue, what he sent, he sent it down. He meant he created it. No, if he meant he created it, he would have said, he created it. He didn't mean that. He meant specifically that he sent it down. Right? And so you find in this, in the last century, in the 20th century, geologists coming to certain agreements about the beginnings of the earth. One of them being that iron is not part of the original earth, it actually came to the earth in the form of meteors and was buried deep into the core of the earth. Right? So the word used, iron, we sent down iron, becomes a very accurate depiction of the reality of iron because it was sent down. Then there's of course the famous ayah about the heavens and the earth. كَانَتَا <laughs> رَتْقًا the word ratqan in Arabic means something that is fused and inseparable. The word ratq was used when a mother is carrying a child because the mother and the child are inseparable. And when she would start delivering, the other was, word was used, fataqa. Fataqa is the part, the time for her to start parting. So the ayah says the heavens and the earth used to be fused and inseparable and then we cause them to come apart. The universe in its original form was a fused, united body and then it became and spread out and then the words used later on, it spread out far and wide. So it's close to, very close to, uh, interestingly close to the Big Bang Theory.